I was drafted first in the prom draft guys at my school do, but the guy who picked me first is mad because I don't want to go with him. I, 17F, am a senior at a private school. Right now everyone is either talking about college or prom. Most of the girls are wondering who will pick them to go to prom. In our school the guys usually hold something similar to a fantasy football draft, where they take turns picking the girl they get to ask out. During one of my classes a large group of guys bursted in and stood along the wall chanting Keith, 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 over and over again. In walks Keith, and behind him are two guys holding up a sign saying I chose you. This was to showcase the pick of the first girl chosen to go to prom. I was wrapped up in the excitement, until Keith approached me, took my hand, and said I'd pick you. You're welcome. I pulled my hand back real quick. He starts going on a rant, saying he chose me so we'll win best looking couple, and that he already picked out my dress, but expects me to lose some weight to fit into it. I tell him, I'm flattered, but no. At this point everyone is recording, and even the teacher is invested. Keith tells me not to play hard to get. That he chose me so there was no point in denying that we were going to go to prom together. He went on to explain that he chose me, because I have a beautiful foreign look to me, which fits his vision for prom. I told him I was sorry, but that I didn't want to go to prom with him. Some background about Keith is that we have been going to the same school for five years now. He has flirted with me from afar before and showed interest, but never went this far. He usually goes for the girls that beg for his attention because of his money. His family are the school's biggest funders, but instead of using that opportunity to get an amazing education, he chooses to skip classes, knowing the teachers will give him good grades. He does whatever he wants, whenever he chooses, and it pisses me off. The thought of going to prom with a guy who doesn't respect anyone, even himself, seemed like an awful idea. After I told him no again, everyone was quiet, and Keith got really upset. He pushed my notebook off of my desk and started yelling. He told me he paid a lot of money so he could get first pick, knowing that a few others wanted to choose me, that he already planned everything out and bought my dress. I told him I didn't ask him to do that, but he just told me I was ungrateful and going too far trying to embarrass him. The guy actually teared up a bit. I looked over at the teacher, but she just stood there watching us, clearly not planning on stepping in, so I grabbed my stuff and left the classroom. I heard a few girls offer to go to prom with him instead, and I hoped he would accept their offer. By the next day, things had blown completely out of proportion. I had been getting countless texts from people I didn't even know, telling me I had no right to turn Keith down. I was also called a lot of expletives, and bullied really badly. At some point someone had taken footage of the entire thing and edited it to show me rejecting him with devil horns and a tail, while Keith looked innocent and sad. I was worried how much further all of this would go so I went to administration and asked to talk to them. They were having a small meeting when I barged in and told them everything. About the drafting for prom, how Keith said I had to go to prom with him, and how I was getting bullied and harassed because I rejected him. The principal was surprised to learn about the drafting for prom, but told me there wasn't any issue with it as long as everything was consensual. I told him that was the point, right now I wasn't giving my consent. One of the teachers piped up and asked why I didn't want to go to prom with Keith. Another added in, asking if I felt inferior because my family didn't have as much money as his. I barely even got a word in, as the teachers all started telling me I should just go to prom with him, saying it would be good for me, I don't even have to pay for a dress, I'd arrive in style to prom. They even said, the bullying will probably stop if I just go with him. The principal told me that Keith's parents give a lot of money to the school, and he hadn't done anything technically wrong, so there was nothing they could do. They assured me they would try and put a stop to the drafting for next year, as there was no stopping something that had already happened for this year's prom. I got up and left, on the verge of tears. My phone had over 100 plus messages at this point and I knew all of them were negative. I decided I couldn't deal with everything, so I went and found Keith and told him I'd love to go to prom with him, and I was sorry that I embarrassed him. I felt disgusting but I just wanted the nightmare to end. Keith got really happy and told me he knew I was just playing hard to get. That in the end he paid to pick me, so I didn't have a choice. But that was my only free pass as I wasn't allowed to act that way during prom. Fast forward to prom, where Keith and I showed up in a huge limo. My outfit was insane, and I felt like a dressed up Barbie doll. Keith chose every single part of my outfit, even how I did my hair. At the prom we won best looking couple, and even gave us a trophy. I tried to enjoy myself as much as I could because prom was really pretty and the dress was gorgeous. When I tried to talk to my friends, Keith dragged me away and said that I belonged to him tonight, so all my focus had to be on him. Later in the night, Keith and I were dancing and he told me he was looking forward to having his driver take us someplace more secluded. That was enough for me. I said I was going to get something to drink and headed over to a punch bowl. I pretended to trip and purposefully fell right into the punch bowl, staining the dress and landing really hard onto the floor. Keith, wasn't the only one who knew how to make a scene. I yelled out that I hurt my ankle, and even started crying. A few guys carried me off to a chair and everyone was asking if I was okay. I told everyone that I thought I might have broken my ankle, but I wanted everyone else to have a good time, and to go back to dancing. Especially Keith, who deserved to have the best night. I called an Uber and made a dramatic exit like I was sorry to go, and told Keith I didn't want to ruin prom for him, so he should stay and have fun. As I was getting into the Uber, he looked angry with me, and said we could still go someplace together. As a last resort, I pretended like I was going to vomit and said I might also have a concussion. Keith reeled back in disgust telling me he'd allow me to leave, and went back inside to prom. 